Welcome back to another Tactical Fly Fisher video. I'm your host and owner of Tactical Fly Fisher, Devin Olson. Today, we're gonna to talk about an issue that's been raised a few times with customers who have uh, switched to using microliters for their, their European nymphing. So, I've talked a lot about microliters. It's basically just an exceptionally thin European nymphing leader where the butt section of the leader is 4X diameter or even smaller. And when you're using leaders that are that thin, if you get a rainy day, they can stick to the rod blank and then your leader won't slide and you can't cast. Um, you almost have to fish a fixed length of line because it just sticks there. So there is a way to solve this problem. And uh, we used it in Spain this year at the World Championship because there were drought stricken rivers that had been you know, sunny all summer long. And then of course the day of the championship or the day before it started raining and it pretty much stayed raining throughout the championship. So our guide, uh, Pablo Castro Pinos, who's a good friend of ours um, and on their Spanish team, he showed us a solution which I had also seen uh, from Julian, the world champion um, this year and in 2016. When I fished with him in 2018, he showed me this solution as well. And it's pretty simple. All you do is spiral wrap some tippet around your rod and usually about a 4X diameter tippet. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that spiral wrap. And if you're fishing a, a microliter, the next time you encounter that rainy day, hopefully you won't have any issues with the leader sticking to your rod. Let's get wrapping. All right. Let's show you how to wrap the rod now. Uh, as you can see on this piece, this is uh, one of my Thomas & Thomas Contact 2s, uh, the 10 foot 9 inch 3 weight. And as you can see, I already have it wrapped on the tip section here. And while I was fishing the other day, I accidentally uh, broke the wrapping that was on the section below that. So that's the section we're going to wrap today. When you wrap your own rods, you want to make sure you get the tip section and probably the section below it. You don't need to do the first two sections of the rod because the leader doesn't really contact that very much. But as you can see, I've just got this tippet that's spiral wrapped up the piece here on the blank. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So there's a few things you need. First, you need some tippet. And typically the Europeans that I've met, they use 4X tippet. I'm gonna use chameleon here today because it'll show up against this white background. and I. Also, actually, kind of think it looks nice with the brown thread on the rod. Uh, matches it a little bit. But really, the diameter is the important part. So this is seven thousandths of an inch thick, which is a 4X diameter. Then you also need some fly tying thread on a bobbin. This is dot Uni thread, which is a good um, size to use for this. And then you also want to just cut off a section of the tippet that's probably about eight or 10 inches long like this. Um, so I've just taken this material and cut off a little bit. And then you're gonna want probably some super glue or maybe some UV resin, you could use either. The super glue will make it a little more permanent. The UV resin you can cover just to keep the wraps durable, but then you can take a box cutter or a razor and, and uh, trim it off if you wanna take the wrapping off later when it's dry. And then just get yourself some nippers that you can clip flush as well. All right, let's get going. So I'm gonna first start the thread on the rod blank here. So I've got the serial number here. I don't wanna cover that up. I'm just gonna make a couple of wraps of thread on the blank so that it's trapped there. I'm gonna leave that tag end in there for now. And we can come back and trim that off later. Then take your tippet that you're gonna wrap around the rod and just tie that down. So wrap that down, I don't know, nine, 10 times. You wanna get enough there that you trap it well, but not so much that you cover a lot of the blank. Now, once that's sitting there, you're gonna take the tippet that you already have trimmed off. You're gonna form a little loop with it and you're going to wrap the thread over those uh, that loop a couple times, maybe four times, five times, somewhere in there. So I pinch wrap the first one so it traps. And then one, two, three, we'll do four more. Okay, 
Now, just take your thread, cut that off. And then you can see the loop here. We're gonna take the thread that we've cut off and put it through the loop. And really what we're doing now is when we pull this tippet back through that, we've pulled the thread wrap under the other th thread wraps that we have here. And basically we've done a whip finish. So I'm gonna come in and trim that off completely flush. It's really important that you get it very flush. If you have any little tag end sticking up there, then that can grab your leader as you're casting. I know from experience, you don't want that. So make sure you've trimmed it flush. All right, so we'll come back and we'll put some glue on that in a bit. But now you're just gonna grab the tippet and spin the blank in your hand. And if you're really careful, you'll get this nice and even with even wraps like this. But I'm not great at getting the wraps completely even up the blank. If you space them half an inch to an inch apart up the blank, that's fine. You don't need to have the um, the tippet, you know, really close together. That'll actually probably add a little weight to the rod, which you want to try and avoid, especially with the really long Euro rod. So you want to keep the wraps spaced apart close enough together that they still break the adhesion of the microliter to your rod blank, but they don't have to be super close. So just space them, keep twisting the rod blank. And then when I get, I don't know, maybe four inches or so from the, you gotta get fairly close so you can get the wrap in there, but let's go to somewhere about there. You can make a couple extra wraps that you're not gonna use so that kind of gets trapped there. And you need to pinch your finger against the wrap. Trap your thread in here. Pull on that wrap again to get some tension back in it. And wrap, oops. So I'm wrapping the thread. I'm gonna just go through the process of tying down the tippet to the rod blank again, just like I were trapping something on a hook shank here. Let me make sure that I got that. Oops, so that's a little bit loose in those wraps. So I'm gonna back off my tension here for a second and make sure I get those pulled tight. You can do that while the thread's still on. If you just back off a few wraps. Because if you don't get the wraps on the rod tight to begin with, eventually they'll slide around and this will all come undone. Okay, I got tension back in that tippet. So I'm gonna trap it down with a few more wraps again. And then I just go back, grab that same loop and then you can see I've got the loop again. Trap that down with four or five wraps. And then cut the thread. Find my loop over here. Make sure that I pinch the thread so it gets caught by the loop. Then if you just pull that loop back out, same thing. Traps the thread under the thread wraps you've already made. And now everything's tied down. Repeat the process of trimming everything flush. Obviously, if you're not careful, you can cut the thread wraps or your tip it underneath. So don't push too hard. Just get that's why nippers are nice for that because you can get in there flush and cut everything off but not actually cut your wraps. Okay, 
So now you can see I have the rod wrapped and all I need to do is just come back in and make sure that those wraps don't fall apart. So I have some Loctite super glue here. I'm just gonna very carefully apply this to the thread wraps and try and keep it from getting on the rod blank. And bracing yourself against the table is probably the easiest way to do the easiest way to do that. And you want to make sure you get especially a drop of glue right at the point where your tippet is entering the thread. So that all sticks together. And I just need to turn the blank around and do it to the other side. Okay. Now my wraps are secure. That should stay on and I hopefully won't encounter any leader stick the next time I fish on a rainy day. Um, you can see the process isn't really that hard and if you practice it once or twice you should be able to do it yourself pretty easily. Thanks for watching this Tactical Fly Fisher video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, you know what to do, give us that thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get that notification with the next video that we post. And then come on over to tacticalflyfisher.com. We're here to help you with any questions about gear and I'll see you to sell you that gear, uh, whether it's for fly fishing or fly tying for your next on the water adventure. Happy fishing this winter and stay warm and safe. Thanks for watching.